Hello, in this video let's do a couple of, well, just an example where we're trying to get total fixed cost, average fixed cost, total variable cost, average variable cost, and average total cost off of this total cost function. Okay, so the total fu cost function, it's basically just a model of how much it's going to cost this firm or a typical firm in this industry to produce this any given quantity that you plug in. So for example, if you plugged in you wanted to know how much would the total cost be to produce 10 units, you would just plug in 10 as Q and then add up that number and that'll give you the total cost, okay? Um, so we got five things here. Number one is just really straightforward. Um, so I'm gonna abbreviate here, average fixed cost. We need all these formulas here. Um, so the average fixed cost is whatever the fixed cost is divided by the quantity. And then next one is going to be average variable cost. It's going to be the variable cost divided by the quantity. And then, and, and it, you could say it could be like total, that those are the same thing. So if you have total fixed cost or just fixed cost, that's fine. And then uh, average total cost, which it is asking here, you can actually get that two ways. So you can either go total cost divided by quantity, or you can go average total cost is uh, average fixed cost plus average variable cost. And the reason that works is because total cost is in fact fixed cost plus variable cost when you're in the short run. So those are the relevant formulas that we need here. Okay, so let's, um, let's figure out what we're doing. Uh, okay, so t fixed costs are costs that don't change based on how much we produce. So you could think of it, you could like plug in a zero here and a zero here, that turns those to zero. So if I produce nothing, it's going to be 4,000. Uh, if I produce, you know, if I put in 10, like I said earlier, solve for that, th that 4,000 isn't going to change. So number one, total fixed cost is in this case 4,000, but it's just whatever number is not uh, changing based on the quantity that we're producing, okay? So that's number one. Number two, uh, average fixed cost. So uh, we're just gonna take the fixed cost portion. So it'll be average, so it's the same thing over here. Average fixed cost. Is this so it's 4,000 divided by Q. We're going to use lowercase Q because that's the firm's uh, quantity. Okay. All right. Let me erase that real quick. Number two, number three now. Number three. Number three is total variable cost. So remember this formula here. So, um, Variable cost is going to be, we'll just send this over here. So it's total cost minus fixed cost. But I mean, if you just get rid of that um, and just say that, act like it doesn't exist, it's the variable cost portion is this portion here. Okay. So total variable cost is just going to eliminate that part. So it'd just be 5Q plus 10 Q squared, okay? And then number four, average variable cost. So that's, that's this expression divided by Q, okay? So here, I'll write it out. Five Q plus 10 Q squared. I should make this So that's a Q divided by Q equals five, because those guys will cancel out. I'm use a different color now. Those guys will cancel out. And then I gotta divide here, so it'd be plus, plus 10 Q. That's your average variable cost. And then finally, number five, average total cost. So it's your choice, you can add this, you can just put this plus that and it gives you average total cost. Okay, so it would be 4,000 
and 5 plus 10 cubed. Or we could do it uh, in a more traditional way. So average total cost is going to be the whole expression. So down here, 4,000 plus 5q plus 10q squared divided by q, which equals 4,000q plus 5 plus 10q. And that's our average total cost. And you can actually plug this into a graphing calculator and it'll show you the cost curve. It'll show you the cost curve for this, for this. It'll also show you this, but I mean, who cares about that since there's just a decreasing out towards infinity. Okay, so those are those uh, functions and formulas.